Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. Uh, this week we are looking at a new update for the Behringer X32. Um, this is Mike Wallace. Uh, so I just wanted him to be in the shot. Uh, so <laughs> if you haven't already, um, now's a good time to update to version 4.04, uh, the Behringer X32 firmware. Uh, I don't normally do firmware update videos, but um, I'm really pleased to see that Behringer, uh, despite uh, this board being out for many years now, is not only still making firmware updates, but features that I've wanted since the very beginning are just starting to roll out, um, which is a funny pun if you know what I'm getting at. So um, DCA spill is the biggest thing uh, to come out with version 4.04. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, some of the larger format consoles might call that pop groups or DCA rollout. Um, and what it does, it allows you to select a DCA. So for example, the tracks DCA, and now all the faders on my left-hand side have filtered down to just show me the channels that are associated with that DCA. Um, so in this case, I have my six track lines and then we had a little um, keyboard doing pads and stuff. Um, that's all available there on the left-hand side where I can get quickly to it. Um, and it's just very, very handy. Again, this is mostly made for large format consoles, but even on an X32, um, maybe you have drums that are on channels one through six, but you have your drummer came in with a electronic drum pad this week and he wants to use that, but it's gonna be on like channel 31, 32. Well, no worries, you click on the drums DCA, and like in our case, we've got all of our drums, which is one through nine. And then over here on 19 and 20, we have some percussion lines um, from the tracks. And over on 16, we have the drum pad line. Um, so it just filters everything down for you very, very quickly. Uh, let's say you have something that has more than 16 channels. So like in our case with the band DCA, um, it is currently showing me everything but the tracks. Um, but I can click on this flashing uh, group button here, and now it is showing me the next set, 17 and up, um, of what is associated with this band DCA. So very, very handy. Um, you can get to where, you know, once you've sound checked everything, you're basically, for me, I'm usually on the vocal DCA. I've got my left hand ready to go to be riding the vocals up and down. My right hand is adjusting the DCA levels but if I need to adjust something individually, so maybe for the guitars, um, you know, I might turn the DCA up and down for solos and such, but maybe I wanna balance out my two microphones that are on the guitar channel. Well, in that case, I'll just select the guitars, adjust my faders, and then I would go back to my vocal channels and work from there. Um, so very, very easy. If you're new to DCAs, um, very quick overview of how this works. DCAs are basically just a fader and mute and solo control for a group of faders. Um, so if I want to add another channel to the what the vocal DCA is affecting, I exit DCA spill mode by just clicking on that flashing light. So here are all my channels over here on the left. Now I'm gonna click and hold the DCA that I want to change the assignments for, so in this case the Vox. And then I'm gonna put, just for fun, put these computer lines in there. So I'm just gonna hit select on those that are linked. So we're gonna get both of them lit up at the same time and then let go of the DCA. So now if I click on the Vox DCA again, you can see we have our vocal channels and the computer uh, channels are in there. Um, if I were to mute the vocal DCAs, you can see they're flashing. Let me know that they're muted somewhere other than their individual channels. So in this case on the DCA itself. So. The cool thing is, if you get to where um, you assign your DCAs effectively, you've only got eight, um, but you can do a lot with eight, you can basically be doing almost everything from this one section. You won't have to do hardly any fader flipping at all on the left-hand side. You'll just be selecting the DCA you want, make the adjustments you want, and then go from there. To give you an idea of how my DCAs are set up, Generally, for a full band that is very electric guitar heavy, I would have my drums, and sometimes the, this will include the bass channel depending on how I'm feeling that week. Um, guitars, this is gonna be the electric guitar, so not bass guitar, not acoustic guitar, 
because I want to be able to push up this DCA and have all the electric guitars come up for some energy and either big solo parts or big choruses, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want the acoustics coming up with that as well. And I definitely don't want the bass coming up. Um, in this case, this is for a, a camp band where we're pretty much exclusively running tracks, but um, this is, uh, my third DCA is usually gonna be for tracks and keys. Um, fourth DCA, you can see it's in red because it's very important. That is the entire band. And the fifth DCA is all the vocals. Um, now, if I have a big vocal group, sometimes I'll separate that out into worship leaders and backing vocals. Um, but at least in this case, we only had two vocals, so we just have those two. So if I turn down or mute um, these two red ones, band and vox, I've effectively muted my entire worship team. Um, so that's very uh, useful in there, and that's why I have them red, just to kind of grab my eye when I'm working on things quickly. Um, then I've got the uh, vocal reverb. This is on the return of the vocal reverb, uh, only because I am sending this to the musician's ears as well. Uh, the delay, this is on the send of the delay, so I can do ramping effects. Check out our effects video if you want to know more on how you can do that kind of stuff. Um, and then finally, I like to have anything that is a speech microphone. So not part of the regular worship team, um, but announcement microphones, the pastor's microphone, um, that kind of thing. So in this case, again, for camp setup, we have a handheld microphone uh, and a uh, wireless headset microphone on the speech group. So basically, if the band's not up, then the speech is up. And so it works very well like that. Um, so yeah, DCA spill, awesome. Definitely worth doing a firmware update. If you have not done a firmware update at all, or uh, at least not to version four, there's been a couple of version fours, uh, a couple notes on things that you wanna be careful of. Um, number one, uh, no matter what version you're going from, I would go ahead and save at least your most current scene on an external drive and onto the board itself. Definitely if you <laughs> happen to still be on version one, um, whenever you go to anything above one, it'll wipe all the scenes off your board. Um, if you're doing version two or three to version four, uh, it will, if, I, if I'm correct on this, it will uh, not delete your scenes, but it will wipe whatever the most current scene is on the board at the time. So if you haven't saved it, you're in trouble. So again, go ahead and save on the board and on an external drive just to be safe. Um, another important thing when you're going to version four from anything else, um, it will reset things in your setup menu. So uh, of particular importance, um, I would go ahead and take a picture of all of your setup tabs, but definitely some things I've seen mess up churches already. In the global tab, um, if you have a sample rate that's different than 48K, or if your clock source is different than internal, um, you're gonna need to reset those when you come back on the board. Um, so like if you're using this for a broadcast console and it's a slave to the front of house console, so you're using maybe AES50A instead of internal, it will default back to internal when you've updated to four. So you'll need to fix that. Um, Another important one is anything on the config page. Um, another big one, if you're doing multi-console setup is on the preamps page, if you're using HA remote, um, so um, that you're gonna need to take a picture of that because that will reset when the board gets updated. Uh, other than that, the only bug that I've seen when going to uh, um, DCA spill, um, again, version 4.04, uh, and it's not a big deal at all, but let's say if I was looking at the vocal groups and I decided to rename this channel to um, while we're in DCA spill mode, I will be able to do everything on the screen like normal, but you won't see the name update in real time um, like you would if you weren't in DCA spill mode. Um, so I could change it to two Vox and it will still say two Andy, which is what I have it on right now until I have left DCA spill mode. And then it'll be correct 
anywhere I look at it from there on, including if I go back into Vox, it'll, it would now say to Vox instead of to Andy if I had changed it. Um, so really not a big deal at all, um, but just be aware that you're just not going to see the change on the screen while you're doing it. But uh, definitely worth uh, an update. Um, uh, this great feature that I've loved on some bigger consoles, and even though there's only you know 40 channels on the X32, it's still a useful thing on here as well. So hope that's been helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, like always, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, again, please save your scenes before you do a firmware update just to be safe. All right, guys. Until next time. Have a great week.